Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be learning how to do SEO on our WordPress website by using the all-in-one SEO plugin. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so we're gonna be SEO optimizing this website that we worked on in a prior video, which is a e-commerce e website built with WooCommerce. So there's products that we can optimize as well as regular pages that can be optimized as well. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is install all-in-one SEO. So back in dashboard, what we want to do is go into plugins and add new and then search all-in-one SEO. Okay, and then we're going to install this one, all-in-one SEO. Okay, great, and then we're going to activate. Okay, awesome. So now we'll just walk through the wizard over here. So click let's get started and then you want to select the category of your website. So in our case, it's an online store. Okay, so this first part here is quite important. So what you want to have here is say your brand name. So let's just say Maplet Media Store and then some kind of tagline, which will help with keywords. So let's say your one stop shop for WordPress themes. Okay, and then as well as here is our description. So again, you want to add in here a description of your home page so again you can copy your title and just elaborate further and then click save and continue okay so over here again you want to add in your organization name okay so phone number if you're like a small business and then who you'll be in contact with and then your logo and social sharing image so if someone shares a page to social media this is the image that will pop up by default, unless if you have an image for that specific post and then as well as connecting your social profiles as well. Okay, we'll click save and continue. Okay, so let's see which features we'd like to enable. So this is just a free version. So we're going to just enable their optimized search tools, sitemap, broken link checker. So I don't need analytics conversion tools we don't need that so broken link checker is good because if you have a broken link then that can affect your search rankings so it'll allow you to quickly fix any broken links on your website okay, and then these are just pro features which we're not looking to upgrade if any of these features would benefit your business then you can upgrade to the pro version okay so I'll just uninstall these and then go to save and continue Okay, so this is how our website will look like on search engines. So again, this is the title that we set up in the prior configuration. So you want to enable sitemaps, multiple authors, and redirect attachment pages. Yep, so those are good by default. And then we'll click save and continue. Okay, and then this is just any marketing recommendations, so we can skip that. Okay, and then lastly, it's asking for a license key if you'd like to upgrade to the pro version. But if you're on the light version, then a license key isn't required so we'll skip this step okay so now the configuration has been completed now we can go and finish the setup and go to the dashboard okay great so first let's go into our general settings so again the first thing you want to do is connect your google search console and google analytics over here so if you click into that then you'll be able to just get these verification codes through your google search console and then over here with google analytics you can enter in your verification code over here and then click save changes so that'll handle all your analytics and google search console is important for managing the keywords that you're ranking for as well as indexing any new pages okay so breadcrumbs so that's over here okay so breadcrumbs are important as they allow multiple filters in terms of separate categories and subcategories okay so by default these look good and yes you should keep them enabled Okay, and then that should be it for general settings. So next, let's go over here into search appearance. So again, we kind of configured this already in the initial setup. So unless if you want to optimize this even further, then we can move on to social network. And again, over here is just connecting your profile so that Google and other search engines know which profile is associated with this site specifically. So you should enter all your social profiles here. Okay, and then sitemap is important because it lists all the pages on your website which you can submit to google search console when they crawl your website okay so if you click open sitemap over here we're able to see all our posts pages products categories and product categories you would take this url and submit it to google search console so that they know where your sitemap is 
and that will help with the speed of which Google is able to index your website. Okay, so over here in SEO analysis, this is another great feature as it shows you some optimizations which you can make in order to improve your SEO. So again, it says no meta description is found on the homepage, so we can fix that. So this is just the WordPress page editor, but as you can see, after installing All-in-One SEO, we have this new tab, which allows you to configure the meta description and title, as well as other important data directly in the page. So again, over here, it says we do have the meta description. So I just did an update or it's recommending that we add some more text to improve that. So again, another important part of SEO is targeting a specific keyword for each page. So over here, we should target WordPress themes as that's the focus of our store. And then I'll give you recommendations based on your focus key phrase. So you want to make sure that your key phrase is mentioned in these areas in order to improve your SEO. Okay. And then again, over here, some more errors, which we can fix directly on the page. So you'll have to go through each page one by one in order to optimize these improvements. Okay. And then once you have that completed, then you can just click update. And then over here, you have a little score, which you can determine how optimize your pages according to all in one SEO. Okay. So let's just go back. Okay. And then it recommends optimizing the images as well. And over here, this one is important as this is just a development website, but one thing you want to make sure is, that, is if you go here into settings and then reading is that you don't accidentally have this enabled as this will prevent search engines from indexing your website. So in our case, it's disabled, so that's good, but just double check this on your end as well. Okay. And then lastly, let's look at the, look at the tools that are available with all in one SEO. Okay. So these are more advanced optimizations, which you can make, but editing the robots.txt and HT access files aren't necessary for just starting out. Okay. And then let's try as in our case, this is a e-commerce website. So let's try to optimize some of the product pages. So go into products and then all products, and then we'll go into black shoes product and edit. And then again, down here, we're able to edit the meta description. It's able to take the description from your general settings over here and add it to the meta description. So you want to make sure that those are filled out. So our description over here, and then you can add on further to that. And then the title. So it's based on the product title and then the site title. So you can again edit that over here and then this is how it would look like. So again, the description isn't showing so we can edit that directly and we can write black shoes, good quality, right? So you want to just make sure you're targeting keywords as well as enticing the user to click on your specific listing in the search engine. And again, over here, the focus key phrase is important. So you want to link whatever you're looking to rank for. So say black shoe, and then you would add that keepers and then I'll give you suggestions on how to improve your content. And again, as we looked at it prior with the page analysis, again, I'll give you improvements to make on your product page. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you were able to follow along with this tutorial and set up the all-in-one plugin on your website. If you're looking for help with your SEO strategy, then you can check out my website, maplitmedia.ca to get in contact with me. Please like, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.